stabilizing, taking the ducks to the pond. Now, Zek Walker is online now. I will find you, human. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good morning, I'm Zek Walker. This is Zek's Variety Show. We were gonna do our martial arts stream today. Got the living room all ready. And then I realized that my headset it was dead, so I have to play plugged in. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm actually plugged in. So I cannot actually leave my um little abode here because we're plugged in. So we're going to play the angler. We're going to jump on over to our game board. Uh, let's just go ahead and make sure that that is ready for us we're gonna jump it out here gonna go ahead and click that over There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and close off our win loss counter. And we're going to jump on over to the game board. There we are. We are. I'm gonna press that any key. I'm gonna jump on over here. All 
All right, and we are. I don't know why I'm here, but that's a good segue. Let's go ahead and check our map. Where do we want to start fishing today? I think I'm gonna start fishing up here. Fast travel to the top outpost. Let's see if we have a quest here. Grab fishing challenge one. Go to Lake Autumn's Island. Track this mission. Actually, we need to talk to the shopkeeper anyway. Okay, so we'll come back to this, but we're going to go down here. We're going to talk to the shopkeeper. Look who it ain't. Hey, Bucker. I'll tell you what, Buck. Never love something too much. Today's special is everything. Everything here is so, so special, and you should buy it all. One rot on the rocks. Mm. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. First time I saw these, I thought they were real. And if they can fool me, they can sure fool a fish. And buy this. First time I saw these, I thought they were real. And if they can fool me, they can sure fool a fish. Let's check our backpack out. Let's take watching the stream and have leaves. You can use them in the chat box to get perks, like making Zach dance badly. Okay, let's go ahead and um, move some stuff to our backpack or to our um, had a little clash with old clay storage. It's like he just doesn't want more people in this park. Maybe he'd have to get more buckaroos. Uh, this is me personally. How do we hit storage? Take a look at these. This is how we get to storage. Okay.
come to the right place. First time I saw these, I thought they were real. And if they can fool me, they can sure fool a fish. Okay, so we brought ourselves one, and we're gonna take our storage, here. and we're gonna go back to our baits, our lures, we go back to our frog, and we're gonna, we've got one, okay. We're gonna put a rod together. Actually, we should get more better line. What can I get you? Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow's fin. Don't mistake this so-called basking shark for a bottom feeder. This string swims slicker than a sea serpent and won't break the riverbank, if you catch my drift. All right, let's get some line. Got the second set of line. Okay, so we should have enough to put together a second rod. So let's go ahead and go into our backpack, get our rods. Let's make our second one. We're going to choose. Doesn't that work? <sighs> Wish I could spend more time fishing and less time behind this chaos. Even when I'm serving customers, I'm catching fish in my head. Oh, because I don't have a good enough rod. So I need to get have a browse. I need to get like this one better. So why don't we get the pink? Put the pink on it for now. So we'll go backpack, um, rods, rod two, lure, grab, boom, boom, pink and frog. And we'll call that a confirm. And now we have a lure two. Alright. Had a little clash with old play. It's like he just doesn't want more people in this Ladies! Okay, so we're gonna jump back up here and start fishing. So we've got two rods now. We'll have to upgrade one of them as we go. So let's head on out to the island over here. As it says to. We're gonna grab a boat. We're gonna head out to this island. So it seems Head to the island, we're gonna dock the boat. Okay. Now we're gonna find a spot on this island. Walk 
liked this island very much. We're going to cast right here. Let's see what we get. We catch a cat there, sure. Why don't we check our handbook? Animal catfish like bread, pearl barley, and dough. Okay. So let's pull this in actually, because we're not going to get a fish off this that we need. We're going to need bread, pearl barley, or dough. So let's check our. Um, our bait, we're gonna need bread, pearl barley, or dough. Alright, so we're gonna put pearl barley on. And actually, we're gonna drop this bait as far as we can. There we go. We don't want this anywhere near the surface, we want it right there at the bottom. We're gonna sit and wait. I saw some air bubbles down by close to where my um, line is. We're going to set our drag to 60. Just softly pull back in to pull the slack in the line in so that I can see everything happening. There we go. Let's go. And now we're just going to relax. We're going to pay attention. We're going to watch the water. We're going to have a little bit of uh I'm gonna pause the Oh, here we go. Alright, we got one. And we're gonna pull it in as best we can. And that, ooh, yeah. Okay, keep, try and keep the tension on the line. We're gonna reel with the rod up. I'm gonna drop it and pull some in, and then we're gonna pull back up. Drop it and reel some in, and we're gonna pull back up. Drop it, pull some up. This feels like a small fish. It's not really uh, all that terribly hard. Rainbow trout bronze. It's not bad. So that's not a bad fish for us there. We are going to grab it. And then we're going to grab our... Um, a random message, and we're gonna change it to fish caught. Notes in crashes. There we go, and fish caught one. We're gonna turn on our random message. Alright. So that's uh, not a bad one. It is a rainbow trout bronze with a 0.69 kilogram weight, um, 0.28 meters in length, a little bit of bait experience, not much experience for the rod. Let's see, why don't we cast back over here? Well, that's real close. I probably shouldn't. Probably pull that back in. That was a little rough. Let's see. Maybe we can um, cast right out there, just off of the the edge of the lilies. See what we can get. I'm gonna roll in a little bit of the slack so that the line is tight. We're gonna hold right here. Let me get 
strike. Strike. Caught him. All right, we're going to roll in. This is a bigger fish. We're going to grab, we're going to pull some tension and then release the tension and reel as fast as we can. Pull some tension and then reel as fast as we can when we release the tension. Pull some tension. This is a moderate fish. It's not huge, but it's bigger than the last fish we had. The last fish we had was a bronze. So this could be a silver. Uh, who knows if it's a catfish? I don't know. Pulling it in. There we are. There it is. That's what we needed. That is a channel catfish silver with a three kilogram weight. It gave us some pearl barley experience. Uh, not a bad rank. There we go. That was a 4.47 meter fish. That is precisely the fish we needed. Now have two fish caught. And, um, yeah. So we're gonna release that fish. Actually, hold on. We're gonna... I'm going to... Quest complete. One. Nice. Alright, so we're gonna pull that in. Let's go ahead and go, go gotta go speak to the shopkeeper. So we are gonna fast travel off to the shop. It was a pretty good um Pretty good run on a fish there. Well, look who it is. My buckaroo. Good luck to you. That weather, right? It's you too. You will subscribe to Zex channel. It's free. Smaller than a catfish I caught last summer, but only by a whisker. All right. Now we're going to go back up to the outpost. We're going to grab the next uh, fishing challenge. So the first one was silver catfish. This one's challenge. Catch for me a big fish. All right. Okay, let's track this mission. Catch a gold rank mountain whitefish at the location. Go to Lake Iridium. Okay. Let's see. Which one's Lake Iridium? Okay, it's that one. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna walk on down to Lake Iridium. So let's, uh, let's roll. We're gonna take a nice little stroll here through the wilderness. Let's take this trail. Caution, rough road. We're gonna take a hike on out to Lake Iridium. This is Lake Iridium. Need to get me a better pole for my second setup. So we need to save money and get ourselves a better pole for our second fishing setup. But the second fishing setup is going to be nice. It's going to give us a little bit of, um, extra. Just going to walk our way through here. Not at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, check the map and see how far we've got to go still. Alright, so we've made it through the first, and we're working our way past this, down the river, across the lake, down to Lake Iridium. Alright, so we're going to be there pretty soon. Too bad. Let's keep our eyes peeled for infestations as we take our walk through here. 
we're gonna keep um, keep our head on a swivel and keep our eyes thinking about infestations because those are very good money for us. Let's see what we can find. Don't see any. Right off the bat. I do like the, the like ambient sound. Nice. Alright, so let's roll through here. Who's that out? Oh, that was nice. And see, the thing about this game, I'm walking down to this lake. I could be driving, but why would I drive? Like, you can walk through all this, you can look at all the, like, great wilderness. And the thing is, you can, like, on your way, you can see other people. So, like, I don't know where the other people are specifically, I'm not really, uh, scouring the map for them. But they exist, and I might just bump into a couple of them, or, you know, maybe somebody will be driving along. And I'll hear them coming through. Alright. We're working our way through here. Looking pretty good. And then we're gonna walk on down. I still don't see any infestations or anything. So I think we're okay. We're gonna check our map real quick to see how we're doing on the progress. We're over halfway there. Let's see. Nope, nothing there yet. You can hear rushing water down here. See how that looks. Bad. Yeah, it's coming into a nice shallow. Makes sense. Still don't see any infestations to pick up. We're gonna roll on down here. I do like that sound. The sound is really an improvement over the hunter. Like, I can pinpoint where the sound comes from real easy. So I'm pretty sure there's a crossing here somewhere we're going to have to cross. We're getting there. The lake we need to is on the other side of this mountain, and I think we have to get down onto a river crossing here. I could probably cross here. We'll just see if we can carefully cross this river. Pretty close, but we made it. Hey, look at that! There's an infestation. See? And that's why we're, instead of driving, we're wa- oh, look at that. See? That's like a nice little volcano type, um, view there. You just turn your head and there's a huge mountain. We'll grab this. Those creepy crawlies will be a fairy tale and two shakes of a lamb's tail, Buck. Come see the exterminator. Alright, that's great. Okay, so now we need to go see him again uh, when we come to our next uh, reset. Always keep my eye open because usually these things come in pairs of two. How's the fishing going, Jackwood? I've already caught two fish and I'm heading over on a quest. So I will be picking up this quest in just a minute. Hello there. Here. Hello there. So yeah, I'm going to go pick up this quest, Jackwood. And uh, we're going to try and fish for whatever fish supposed to be a big fish, according to the, um, setup. So, whatever fish we're going after... Oh, I need to add the infestation. There we go. Okay. We've had no game crashes today. 
I was going to do uh, a martial arts stream, but... Yeah, actually, I've unlocked the whole map. So, there's that. At least I think I have the whole map unlocked. It's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure I'm completely unlocked. Um, and now I'm just kind of, um, you know, wandering around doing quests, looking for infestations, that sort of thing. Hey, there's an infestation. We just leveled up off of uh, finding that tree. Alright. That's why it pays to keep your eyes peeled in this game. It's something a lot of people um, take for granted in games. Like, this is beautiful scenery. Um, yeah, you're not going to be able to play it on a, anything less than what I have, like a 2070. And do anything else. Like, streaming, this is the... Uh, the absolute edge of what this card can handle. I have myself stripped down to very bare bones. I'm not watching my own stream. I only really have chat up on one screen. I only have my mic up. Lake Iridium. Catch a gold rank mountain whitefish. Alright, so let's do some research really quick here. We're going to go into our handbook. Figure out what mountain whitefish are. So we've already caught one before. Okay, so we got mountain whitefish. We need bread, pearl barley, or eggs. Well, we have pearl barley on. So we're going to run pearl barley. And let's go ahead and grab a boat. Let's head on out to that uh, GPS station. I don't know if I've picked this one up yet. I definitely have. Okay. So I think we're just going to sit here. It's a pretty good spot here. And we're going to kind of toss right into the middle here. I think that's a good spot. And let's just pull our slack in a little. There we go. Now we've got our line tight. And we're going to sit and wait and see what we pick up here. Let's set our, ten, our resistance to 60. So we'll, uh, there we go. We're just going to look at the water moving. It's so good. It's really good ripple. All right. So what do we got? We got... That all set up. Well, Jackwit, I have a feeling I can't leave because I'm tethered. But um, I'm going to put my headset down. Oh, no, no, no. Do you see that big ripple out there? Just a little to the right. Like right there where my tip is pointing. There was a nice ripple in the um, water. And I wonder, I might not have my depth set correctly. We'll wait for just a few more seconds and see what we got going on. A gold rank, huh? It is... A bottom lurker, a hard fighter, and that more active at night. Okay, so we really want to... I might reel in. And try and... Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have my um, bait sitting close to the bottom. 
of what I can do. Yep, I didn't have my bait. My bait wasn't at the bottom, like 1.4 meters down off the top. There we go. So now we've got it back out. And we're just going to sit here for a second. We've got 60% um, drag. So let's get, see what we've got going on here. We're going to actually, I'm going to do, oh, 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 here we go. Again. Got it. All right, let's pull. All right, so we've got a roll here. It doesn't seem, I'm going to move my rod away from its nose. We're going to pull it in. And we're going to keep the tension on it as best we can. Doesn't seem like a big fish. I don't know if it's going to be a gold. It's like it's a little, little fish. But we'll see. Oh, it is a gold. Wow. Just a small fish. We got our gold. We did it. Right off the bat. With three fish caught. That is our second quest complete. It is. It's wonderful. Second quest complete for the day. Um, it's a pretty good score. We've got... You know, it's not that big, but all in all, not a bad, not a bad catch. Now we got to talk to our shopkeeper. So let's go ahead and bring this boat in. So put our rod away, return to seat. We're going to roll the boat back up to dock. Join the leaf walker discord here. Then tell me where to find the humans. All right, never give up the location of your fellow humans. That is a trick. All right, we're gonna roll across. Docking our boat. Look at that, well done. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and fast travel back over here to the shop. And we'll talk to the shopkeeper to complete our quest. Now there's a sight for Sora. I always kind of knew in the back of my mind I'd end up here. It's nice to get back, to give back, you know? All right. Here's a couple people. All right. Lovely afternoon for a fish. Or for perhaps me. a mountain whitefish as big as that. You're giving me a run for my money here. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to head back to our outpost over here. So that was our second quest. Let's pick up our third quest. This is likely to be harder. A huge fish. Okay, so we're going to go to Platinum Creek Bridge. Catch a diamond rank channel at the fish location, Platinum Creek Bridge. All right. So let's go to Platinum Creek Bridge. Let's see where that's at. That is way down here. Well, we are going to do a little bit of fast travel. Just a little bit. Since we've already been down here. All right. Let's find that bridge, eh? Where is it? Down here. All right. Let's head on up the trail. Let me keep our eyes open. Is that a weather station? I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet I've done it, but I'm just gonna be extra cautious. I have done it, okay. Never hurts to be uh, super cautious on these things. Let's keep our eyes open for infestations. As we work our way down to this bridge. Okay. 
So this is the bridge that we're going to be fishing off of. We need to catch a diamond. I don't know, Jackwit. I don't know if I can catch a diamond, but we'll try. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. The diamond rank catfish, eh? Alright, we're gonna drop our lure all the way down. And let's see what do we got. Let me roll off this part of the bridge out here. So we're just gonna sit it right there. I'm gonna pull our tension in just a little bit. And we are gonna wait. It's not bad. Ooh, we already got a nibble. Strike. Ooh, it's a big one. Alright, we're gonna release tension and reel. And we're gonna pull up. And then release tension and reel. Pull up, release tension reel. Pull up. Release tension reel. Up. Release tension and reel. Go up. Release and reel. Go up. Release and reel. We're pulling up our drag to 40. Moving it up to 50. And finishing off our drag at 60. There we go. Silver. It's a silver catfish. Not bad at all. Noob question here. Don't you have a suggestion for a rod and fish line that can get a tiny bit bigger fishes? Mine breaks with anything bigger than a tiny fish when you can. I do have a suggestion. <clears throat> wow, a catfish. Haven't seen one of them yet. I found a couple. Alright, so, Jackwit, um, I'm going to be honest with you. The first thing I did was explore a ton. Second thing I did was buy the best rod in the store. Oh, naked OD. Yep. <clears throat> so, I bought the best rod in the store. And then, um, so let's go ahead and go into my backpack. So, I am running the Ease Vogel. And then on reels, I'm just running the Optic, but we could be running the Bergen. It's bigger. I just haven't changed over to it, but I'm running an optic reel. And then for tackle, I'm running a, a size 6 hook, which gives me a lot of options. And then I'm running, um, I'm running the 10 strength monofilament on this one. Uh, Jack Whit must be, uh, hacking your webcam, Odie. All right, so we're going to make sure we have our tension at 60. We've got our bait bottom. Hydrate, man. Okay, well, see, you know that I am hooked in today. So now I have to go and get something to drink. So I will be right back. All right, we're back. Okay, so we got that hydrate down. Uh, I was about to do the martial arts stream today. In fact, let me go ahead. I'll show you. I've got... Um, I had the living room all set up for the martial arts stream. I was ready to go. And then I put my headset on. And... Um, literally uh was dead so now i had to plug in all right let's roll this out of here boom
Do you see that, Odie? Jack Wood's trying to get you to come to Norway. Okay, we're gonna get this one. We got one. All right, here we go. One. Oh, biggin. Come on. Oh my gosh. This might be the diamond. This might be a diamond. We're not getting any, unless we do the, the pull and release, we're not getting any slack off of it. It's going to be a tough one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sixty percent drag. That seems to be keeping the fish on. Ah! It wants to go to our right. We're gonna keep ourselves to the left a little. We got it. Oh my gosh! It was just a silver. What? It was huge, though. Huge. That's a good quote, Jackwit. Caught another fish. Still just a silver. Yikes. We've almost uh, maxed out this rods. Um, we're working on the bait, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah. It's a pretty good one. Silver catfish. Alright, let's uh, throw back out here. Now we're going to pull in, tighten up the slack on our rod. There we go. Our line is tight. Now let's just go ahead and wait. Interesting. One of Norway's players is on Chelsea. Nice. Hmm. Nice. Alright, so you see we have slack in our line. I'm gonna reel just a little bit of that slack in. There we go. Keeping it lined tight to the tip. Oh, we're gonna get a strike. Got one. Alright, let's see. Ooh. This might also be a silver, maybe a gold. We're doing the pull and then reel, pull and then reel. This is a very big fish. It could be a silver as well, but I don't know. Trying to, trying to tire the fish out, make sure it doesn't slip. I could see it right in front of me. We're grabbing everything we can. I've yet to see a diamond. But maybe this will work out. Come on, we can do it. We've got our drag up at 60%. We're only really getting line in after we pull back. There we go. It's tight. Alright, we're gonna roll across here. Thank you very much, Odie. Trying to tire the fish out. There we go, we got it. Gold! <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, that's huge. That is huge. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. What a cool mustache he's got. <laughs> yes, indeed. That was a great one. I love it. That was good. That's my... That's 4,000 better than my last catch. According to this. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and drop this. We've mastered our rod. Okay. I don't know that this rod is physically capable of pulling in the diamond, but we're going to try. I think I need a slightly better reel to pull in the diamond. Dang, the score is double anything you've caught? That's amazing, thanks. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, well, let's tighten up the slack on our line here. And we're gonna go... Okay, we've got another bite. Alright, let's pull this one in. Come on. Ooh. Okay, so this is... This is in the same class. It's either a silver or a gold. I don't know that it's a diamond. That would be... I'm getting much more... It's probably a silver because I'm getting much more per reel back than I was with the gold. And if it's gold, it's just a smaller gold. only been fishing with bread. I picked up a little bit of all the bait to come with me. And then uh, I've got a lot of hooks that I can interchange if I need to. Okay, so here we go. Getting tighter. <gasps> what do we got? Another gold. That is another gold. It is slightly smaller. It's a 10354. Another big boy indeed. I like it. Having lots of fun with this, honestly. This is so good. <laughs> All right, 23% of our barley on one shot. Like we're gonna max out this, um, the pearl barley. <gasps> okay, so we're getting good casts here. Why don't we just keep throwing out to the same spot, see if we can't get a diamond here. I'm gonna tighten up our slack in our line. Nose down a little. Pull the slack in. Alright, there we are. So we've got our slack in and we... Oh, already! Strike! Ooh! Ooh, it's pulling away. This might be the diamond. This is rough. This is the one. It's chonky. It does not want to come in. It does not want to come in at all. We're getting almost nothing on our reel throughs. Strong.
We're gonna try and get it. Now that I've got this like left click right click thing down. I'm doing a lot better fishing. Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. It's a big one. I think it's taking me longer to bring it in than any of the other ones. Come on, diamond. Be a diamond. It's tough. It's fighting. Oh. Come on. Oh my gosh. Still only a gold. <laughs> wow. Okay, so. Nice. A diamond's gonna be real hard to pull in. It's gonna be real hard to pull in. All right, so. I am not the best at this, but we'll go into the map and you go, instead of going into your backpack, you go into rods and you click an empty spot and then you equip the rod that you want into the empty spot and you put the rod together. Mm-hmm. No problem, Jack Whip. Oh my gosh. That was a chonky, chonky fish. Just not quite the right one. That was a good one. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Okay, so this is going to be smaller. Small gold, mid silver. Like, I am pulling this in without even doing full tension, so it's going to be small. Simple fish. Simple fish. That's a silver. But that's okay. I like um, how you can pretty much tell what you're coming, what you're getting, just by how it reacts when you start pulling it in. Tighten up my tension up on my uh, line there. Pull my nose down. There we go. You get a feel for this. Like, at first you're not even sure what's going on, but now... Oof, there we go. But after quite a few strikes, like, you can see, like, this one did not respond the same way. I'm barely pulling it in, so it's gonna be a gold. I'm getting quite a bit, every time I do my dip, I'm getting quite a bit of line. So it's a middle low gold. Or high silver at this point, I'm guessing. But it's definitely not a diamond unless it's like playing with me. I'm not getting any red on my line. It's all just normal tension. I'm gonna keep pulling in. What do we got? Silver, yeah, see? High silver. So that's not bad. Oh! Bro! Bro! 
<laughs> he just drove by in the middle of my picture. <laughs> that was great. Hey, there he is. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Wow. That was something. Jeez. <laughs> All right, we're going to tighten up our line. Keep the tension up off the top. Just going to keep our line out there. All right, here we go. Got it. All right, let's see. Two, three, could be a silver. I don't see any red. It's about the same as the last one we were pulling in. Straight for it. Yeah, we're able to reel it in without actually pulling much tension. So it's not going to be that big. Just a silver. Still, really good scores. We're getting lots of experience. We've now caught 10 fish today. Let's see, why don't we go a little to the left? Reel in slack. There we go. I like that I'm not touching it, and it has like a left-right wiggle to it, as if I'm moving my mouse. There we go. Alright, so this is a small fish. It's not fighting back. I'm pulling it in very simply. We're just going to do some soft work here to pull it in faster. Tire it out. Another silver, not bad. Small, even smaller than the last one, to be fair. Wonder if maybe there's some like invisible fishing pressure and I should switch to the other side. That'd be interesting if they do have fishing pressure in and I didn't realize it. Take the tension on our, put tension on the line, just like that. Keep our tip down. So our bait moved again. Tension's off of it. I'm just going to chill there for a second. Let's see what we get. interesting. There we go. Boom. Strike. Grab. Uh, least silver, we'll say. It's not a big in. Probably bigger than the last one we got, but not by much.
Yep, there we go. Same silver. We're gonna release that. Why don't we flip over? We're getting good money for it. Uh, let's see how much money we've got. We've got th almost 3,000 credits from just fishing here. So we'll be able to pull, um, we'll be able to set up the other rod much better. So we're going to be able to get a better reel for this rod and set the other rod up a lot better. Just from a nice little day of fishing. Caught 12 fish so far. Pulling our slack here. Keep the line tense. It's gonna dip just a little bit. Let's keep that reeled in as best we can. Keep the line tense. I'm not moving my um, hand left and right. It's just doing that automatically. It's kind of like the wind is pushing it or something. Like the more input I put in, the Steadier it seems to be. Yes, you will join us. One way. Because, like, if I'm not inputting, it wiggles quite a bit. Thank you, Evilbot Overlord. Yes, you will join us one way or another. <laughs> cool. All right. So we are on our 12th fish. We've completed two quests so far. We really want to get a diamond here, but I'm not sure that I'm running what I need to to get a diamond. To be fair, it's um, not nighttime. Nighttime would do us a lot more um, help. And I don't know if barley is good enough bait to pull a diamond. Here we go. Let's see. High silver, low gold, probably silver. Just from the feeling. Maybe we'll fish uh, on the other side of the bridge here for a little bit in a second. And we're catching a lot off this side, but we've lost the gold. So, yeah, that's pretty good but not all that great let's switch to the other side of the bridge and see what we can get so boom all right jump over here all right so we're gonna go out there so now we're by these rocks maybe this is a good like a, a slightly better spot to be again my hands are not on the mouse that side to side input oh, here we go let's see oh this is a good one this is a good one this might be a gold This is a good one. So we're pulling really hard right now. We're uh, getting a little bit on each swan, but not a ton. Maybe we'll tire this fish out. We're not getting any. We're not getting any pull without pulling back. This is not going to be the highest gold we've caught, but it's going to be a gold. Or, you know, the high. I think it's going to be a gold. It could be a high silver, but not with this. Like, watch. Have I tired it out? I'm barely pulling it in. Barely pulling it in. You thought you just caught the biggest fish with your new rod now? Nice! Woo! There we go. What we got? Oh, it's high silver. High silver. 
It's the best silver we've caught. So yeah, it was close. Nice, Jackwit. Alright, so we've maxed out all our bait. It's pretty good silver. Gonna add a fish to our caught. Catch and release. Alright, let's see here. That was a good spot. Let's try it again. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pull in their tension. I'm gonna nose it down a little. The water's just kind of softly floating through. Oh my gosh, that's a lovely quote to add to uh, uh, Odie. It's a lovely Jackwit quote to add. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, so we're kind of, um, we've lost tension. I'm going to pull tension back in. You can see the line's now tense. I'll just drift to the side here. We've been out for a little bit on this. I'm going to relax. Let it do its thing. Ugh. I still don't know why I would cut my line. I don't know what that's all about. But I think that's just... If you're not patient enough to really all back in or something, I'm not sure. I I guess. Been a long time. I'm just going to drink some tea. It's not tea. All right. Let's tighten this uh, slack back in. It's been a long time. It's the longest um, for a while that I've had my uh, line out and not gotten a touch. So, might pull in and recast, but. Interesting. Yeah, I've, um... Yikes. I was gonna say, um, there were some, uh, zebra mussels, uh, that caught onto one of my, uh, lines back in the day, and... I pulled this in thinking it was a huge fish, and it was just a rock this big with zebra mussels all over it, and the zebra mussel clamped onto my line. Don't see this. I'm going to reel in and recast. I'm going to recast for like right near that rock. Because I think 
I may have just been sitting it right on the bottom there. It was really close. Pulled up a little bit. Just a little bit more. Maybe we'll catch one here. Might have to switch back to the other side. The other side was a lot, um, had a lot more bites. We only really got the first bite off this side. Not bad, though. It's really interesting. Yeah, we're going to pull in. And I think we're going to go back to the other side of the bridge. Put it right out there. See what we get. A little tension on the line. And relax. Alright, so let's see. We are up 14 fish. We are now currently at 30. Whoa, 3,100 money. We can go reset our whole second poll with that much. Two quests complete. Diamond quests seem much harder, but not bad. We can always uh, pick a different area and pick a different quest if we need to. And just remember that this bridge is the quest for the catfish. kind of gone cold is it going is the time turning into day is that what's going on here I think that might be what's happening pull our slack back in I think that might be our problem is it's getting to be daytime and it's much harder ooh there was a one over there by the edge and there's one over there Let's pull in and recast. Drop our tension all the way to the bottom. We're going to go right for the edge here. <clears throat> so I ought to do it. A soft pull there. Oh, yep, there we go. Got it. Alright, what is this? Is this... This is nothing. It's just a small one. Like a silver. But still a good fish. It's, it's not really putting up much of a fight. But... It is a bite. It will be an extra bit of income for catching a fish. It's fighting a lot more during the as we got close, but still a small one. Not bad. We're gonna go 15. 15 fish caught. It's a good 158 income. We're gonna go towards the center. Nice little catch there. I'm gonna pull our slack off our line. Tighten it up. We're gonna wait. Got a lot going on here. <laughs> Jack Whitten OD doing the uh, little dance. So have you caught anything interesting besides that last one, Jack Whit? How's your fishing going? Too bad. Not at all. <laughs> nice. I mean, 
It's the beauty of the game. You just kind of relax, sit back, do your thing. So you're trying for a silver rank bluegill now. Nice. What kind of bait are you using? The handbook. Let's see. Oh, oh. Gotcha. So you're using Bloodworm. Oh, this is not bad. Not bad. This is not a bad one. High silver, low gold, maybe? Look how slow I'm pulling it in when I'm not using tension. Something's made a lot of noise. Are oh, you using the rod I recommended? It's a very good rod. Make sure if it's noise in the attic, make sure you bring a uh, pickaxe because that could be your zombie invasion starting. Um, when's the last time you left someone in the attic? Could also be a chipmunk or a squirrel or something. Some nice big silver. Attic friends, <laughs> yes. Uh, it's never a good sound. Alright, so we've got a silver catfish. That's why I said high silver, low gold. Not too bad. We're making money today. Like, that's one thing. Nice and relaxing, pulling in lots of catfish. There we go. Pull our slack in. I would say pull our pea slack in, but I think pea slack might be busy today. Damn, so we have gotten a lot going on today. We are at 60% drag. At the lowest, we can set our hook off the top of the water. I still am not entirely sure what the random side to side inputs are. I guess it's like breathing or something. I don't know. Simulating wind, possibly. Alright, the line slacked down. We're gonna pull tension back on. Yeah, like watch. My hands are off the mouse and watch my pull. See how it's moving side to side and a little bit up and down? I still haven't touched my mouse. Yeah, right. That's what I figured. Just simulating breathing and... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got... Ugh. Yeah, to simulate breathing and simulate wind and that sort of thing. This is a big silver... Or a moderate silver. Maybe not a big silver. It makes sense. It's just strange. And then lots of, uh, lots of gun games do the same thing. They put a little wobble into the, uh, little wobble into your character to make sure that you don't have dead aim. Not bad at all. Couldn't find anyone. <laughs> 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 I 
Dragons! <laughs> oh god. Hagland <laughs> with the Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> I, I, I looked up and saw you redeem it and I was like, oh god! <laughs> That's why you saw the wince before the Leroy happened, is because I looked up and saw you redeem it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Your security status has been lowered. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there, Hagland. <laughs> Hagland, welcome. How are you today? Yeah, is Destiny, is Destiny on for an update or something? How's your day going? You've been very busy with Destiny lately. How's that going for you? How's the grind going? Ah, Millhouse is over. Nice. But you'll be playing Destiny tonight. Nice. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got a strike. Boom. All right. Pull. And it's high silver. Maybe gold. Uh, let's see here. I will check that Discord message in a second. I don't have Discord open on the computer, so I saw my phone vibrate. Um. Roger that. Hi, Tom. Hi, Millhouse. <laughs> so much fishing to be done. That's so much fun. Here we go. Is it? It's a high silver. Yep. I'm getting pretty good at um, looking at how much tension's on and figuring out how big the fish is going to be. That's a lot of credits, though. Um, like, we are... Let's see how many I've got now. I've got almost 4,000, 3,700 credits today. Haglin prefers the big one. Well, Haglin, I am catching catfish, so... Um, they are likely to be bigger. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, okay. So it's a silver. This is still a silver. I'm pulling it in pretty quick. Nothing too scary about it. Moderate silver, not bad. Push it out to this corner over here. Yeah, earlier when I had caught a fish and I was taking the fish picture, uh, a di different player zoomed by on the uh, Jeep and almost scared me out of my mind. Out of my mind. Emotional damage! <laughs> the fishing game is not worse than golf. Well, I guess it can be. It can be worse than golf. Alright. 
Let's see. So we've kind of, I've worked my way from the left side. Oh, here we go. Strike. Interesting. So moderate silver, maybe. We're going to reel up and then release the tension and reel in. Pull up, release the tension and reel in. And just continue. There we go. So this has got to be like a moderate silver. I don't know if it's the same size as the last one or slightly bigger, but we will see in just a second here. Shagland. There we go. It was bigger. Yep. Okay. 20 fish so far. Didn't know you were having company over, Haglin. You didn't mention it. So, that's kind of interesting. Anything uh, new going on in the world of Haglin? Besides Destiny? So I'll try to tell you when it's smart to fish. Yeah, sometimes I do. So let me, um, I'll show you. So let's go and go in. We'll go into the map. Oh, no, we won't. <laughs> we'll do it at the end. <laughs> Catfish likes nighttime. Exactly. So like that you're going to catch more of them at night. And, um, I could show you all the traits in a second here. It just gives you an idea of how you want to be fishing them. silver so we will um, I'll go in and show you how traits help in the game so when you go into your journal essentially um, you can go into the handbook and pick a fish you can see that gold's my best here silver silver gold here silver silver okay so like you pick a fish like this one I don't know anything about it but it tells you a deep pond, a shallow lake, a deep lake. It tells you liver, eggs, and red worm for bait. And then traits. And if you hit F, it goes bottom lurker, prefers swimming closer to the bottom. Hard fighter, tries its best to get off the hook. So like, for the catfish, let's see. So for the catfish, its traits are bottom lurker, prefers, prefers swimming closer to the bottom. Keen senses, can sense food from a great distance and will respond well to lures. See, I don't have a lure. So like, I think maybe I need a lure to get a diamond. A night owl, more active at night. So like, it just um, lets you help quite a bit. So like, I still haven't caught five of a different fish species, and I've only golded two so far. Uh, caught gold in two. So I think maybe the problem with this, why I'm not getting a diamond, is I'm not running a lure. So, why don't we... Um, we're actually at close to the end of stream time, so I'm just going to do a couple more. Instead of, I'll set up a new rod for next time. Because I've got a lure rod, but it's not as good as the rod I'm running. And the rod I'm running is already probably the, uh, minimum I need. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. Strike and pull. Oh, here we go. Big one. Big one. 
This might be a gold. This might be a gold. Oh, I can feel it. Well, this is harder. Ooh, I can't even pull. This is like a mid gold, maybe. Here we go, here we go, let's get it. Let's get it. Oof. You can feel the difference right away. What? What did I do? You see me reeling in fish after fish? And you're not catching anything? <laughs> Well, Jackwit, run quests. Run a quest. Ah! Uh, I'm barely pulling this in. Gold! That's a third. Oh, it's so close! So close to diamond! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. oh it's so painful. It's right on the edge. This is the best goldfish I've had. It's three thousand bigger. I need a diamond, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. It's not the same fish over and over again. I don't think so anyway. This makes me sad. <laughs> that was so good. It was so close. I'm not entirely sure I could actually pull in a diamond. Like, I would have to be super lucky. I might need a different reel and slightly stronger. Oh, here we go. You say fishing in real life is so much easier, Jackwit? Ah, uh, this is a decent one. Might not be as big as the last one, but it's decent. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It might actually be bigger than the last one because I was still pulling a reel every once in a while in the up position, and I'm not pulling it at all. But I'm getting a lot more real on the pulls, so... The high silver, mid gold, maybe? I'm getting a lot in on the releases after the poll. So it's not as big. I don't think it's a diamond. You can see now as it's getting closer, I can actually reel it a little bit. It's fighting pretty good. It's fighting. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, don't scare me like that. Still gold. 
Not quite as big as the last gold, though. It's another good fish. That's another really good fish. Thank you for the hydrate, Oni. We've caught 23 fish today. All right. All right. All right, let's go ahead and we are over here on this bridge in the lower left. I'm just going to go ahead and set a waypoint there just in case. And I think we are going to call that a day. So let's go ahead and jump on over to our main. We're going to fast travel to the store. A real life customer? And then come we're gonna in, buy. On what can I get you? Another. Uh, we're gonna buy Maybe another one of these rods. Is underselling it. It feels like it flies and then we're going like to. Feather, this baby is some buy. Business. A prologue reel. The, the best reel. This we're gonna buy one of those. And then we're gonna buy. Extra heft you've come to expect from Rushy. That feels fast and strong in the right hands. Oh, and I can't help but notice, but your hands seem just right. Good there. Then we're gonna go. I think we're ready. Okay, <laughs> that was rude. Um. Okay, so now we're gonna go in. We're gonna leave here. We're gonna go P. Actually, we're gonna do this. Have a browse. We're gonna buy. A second best reel. Now we're going to reset all of our equipment. So let's go ahead and go into the map. We're going to go into rods. We're going to go into rod one. We've got rod one. Boom. We're going to reset the optic with the roof, roof, roof. And we're going to grab um, some 10 pound mono. And we're going to grab our floater. And then we had a six, I believe. And then we're going to put the barley back on. There we go. So we've got that line. We've upgraded our I like old Clay. Um, I just wish he'd just given to rod to have a better know, reel. Now we're going to take this one. My ideas are good, we're going to put the ruffle else. on it. We're going to put the... Why do we not let the three... Oh, oh, because we need to change this rod to this rust. Then we're going to put the ruffle on it. Then we're going to put the 10 pound mono on it. And then we're going to put this frog on it. There we go. And now we hit enter. So now we have a new rod. That is, I don't know what hook size we Wonder need. Uh, is 4-0 bigger than time, six? Huh? What a mystery. Odie, Here's what you, know, got. you know more about the frogs than I do. Um, this future classic spinning reel carries the extra heavy. The 4-0 is the best the frog. That feels fast and strong in the right hands. Oh. And I can't help but notice, but your okay. hands seem just right. So we want we want the 4 -0. Good. So I have a new rod. A new rod. All right, so we're going to go back to our spot. I have not been using the frog today. I've just set up the frog reel just now and I've just put the best reel on the best rod we are gonna have lots of fun We're going to try one more cast today with the new rods and the new reel with the frog. I don't know how to use this thing, so let's see. All right, so we need 60%. Then we're going to go ahead and...
Oh god. This is a lot harder <laughs> than you made it look, Odie. Alright, so let's check the lure for what we need. Um, so it's constant stop go twitching. Okay. So then I cast out. Drop it down to 1x. I need constant twitching. So this is actually a lot harder than I thought, so... Right. Yeah, I need to check the catfish. Uh, handbook, catfish. Hello, Buck, it's Clay. Just getting in at Ruby River Range if you need me. Got you down here. The largemouth bass is a freshwater game fish native to the eastern and central United States, southeastern Canada, and northern Mexico. The largemouth bass has an average lifespan of 10 to 16 years and can reach a maximum recorded overall length of 29.5 inches That's very annoying. and a maximum unofficial weight of 25 pounds, one ounce. Bernard Germain de la Cipede was the first to describe the largemouth bass in 1802, giving it the name Labrus Salmoides. The juvenile largemouth
This is interesting. I'll have to try it uh, more later, but I think we're gonna just reel in and call it uh, evening. This is gonna take more practice, but that's all set up. And we've got our old rod pretty much set up. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna say thanks for watching everybody. I know you have lots of choices. Thank you for spending your time with me. We're gonna shut it on down. But um, I wanna say thank you to Odie, Jackwit, Hagland, Parker, everybody who has been, yeah, we got 23 fish, that's pretty good. Pretty darn good stream, nice, lovely day. So with that- Zach is probably gonna... too old for Instagram, but you, <laughs> you are not? Yes, come join us on Instagram. Leafwalker. I'm gonna find somebody who is playing the angler. Let's see if we can find somebody playing the angler and we're gonna jump on into them. Hmm. We're going to go to Mackie, I think. Let's see how they're doing. We're going to try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. All right. We're going to raid on off to this guy and see how he is. So keys mix. All right. We're raiding off. Have a great day. And with that, take it away. Evil bot over Lord. You can run leaf Walker, but you cannot hide. I will find you. Have a good day. For now.